afternoon. Welcome, Graham from Baxi. Um, welcome to you all this afternoon. Graham, looking at this, the Baxi biomass, it looks like a standard boiler to me. Yeah, um, that's a good way to describe it, really. Um, what we've got here, this is a, a biomass boiler. Um, as you keep feature, main feature is that it looks good. Also, it makes heat as a room heater as well. Um, what do you put in it? Right, good question. Pellets. This one's on wood pellets. We work on special wood pellets, certain quality. We use a company called Bright's that you can get through Plum Center. And really, what you're talking about here is you're talking about a bit of a pot of history in central heating. Because we've gone all the way from burning wood, which is what this basically does, all the way later we'll be talking about the CHP, which is the, the sort of most specialist and latest advance in heating technology. What we've got here, biomass boiler, burning wood, but to an average plumber, it works just like a gas boiler. You have two connections, flow and return, and then internally, it's got everything you need to run a central heating system. So you so fit it like a boiler? You fit it like a boiler. The flu, it's got a conventional flu, but you can actually take the combustion air from outside. So technically, it sits well within a normal installer's capabilities. We've got to be MCS in, uh, certified. This boiler's MCS certified, so it really is as straightforward as you're going to get on the biomass side. You can then move from this onto the more advanced side of things and all the way into commercial. And it's a nice first step. Okay, so you talk about moving on. I mean, here we've got the, the EcoGen. Now, right. tell us a little bit about this. What is EcoGen exactly? What's so special about this? Well, this is special because it's the only actual MCHP boiler or micro-combined heat and power boiler that's commercially available today. Uh, we produce it back, see? It's been available for the last three years, so we, we understand where we're going with it. We know what it does. Uh, and what it does, while it's doing your central heating, quite simply, it's generating... It looks like a mini power station. Is it? Exactly yeah. what it is. It's generating one kilowatt of electricity. So if you think about it, it fits perfectly with, with your lifestyle. When you need heat, that's also when you need power. So what this is doing, it's generating one kilowatt of electric while you need your central heating. If you think about it, on a winter's night, you're watching television, you're nice and warm, costing you nothing. This is running it. It's worked up to 24 kilowatts, so this particular version, ideal for a three-bedroom semi. Now, I guess most of the people here can fit a gas boiler. What about one of these? Straightforward. You've got two connections at the bottom. Well, those are the non-plumbers. I'll do this really quickly. Gas, condensate, and two pipes at the top. That's a standard gas boiler. All you need to do, if you've got a central heating system, you could un unhook the boiler you've got currently, Put one of these on. To need to be a substantial wall, it's no lightweight. It's uh, got a bit of weight in it. Um, once it's on the wall, that's it. You can, most installs can be done in a day, and you're off and running. It also attracts a feeding tariff that's just been increased. It's the only feeding tariff that's been increased. So now you're looking at 12 and a half pence an hour. And can you get training to install it as well? Yeah, you need to be. It's quite strict with this. It, the boiler's MCS. You must be MCS trained. Because on these, it isn't just the, the install, it's the entire process of how you decide whether this fits. And, obviously and that's what you're looking at. And the training you can do through yourselves. Through Plum Centre. Anyway, yeah. yeah. so, then, so then we've got the entire system, as it were, whether you're feeding yeah. there or feeding off here. And that's working through uh, a heat ray mega flow cylinder, which we also supply. This is a dual coil, so this would work with solar or multiple technologies. Right, so now we've seen a couple of the operations. What about the controlling of the operations? Vicky, hello. Tell us a little bit about the Honeywell. Uh, you, you've got a, a, a wireless control system, haven't you? Yeah, well, first let us start to tell you about the importance of heating controls. Can you all hear all right? Yeah, can yep, you hear? Good, good. 84% of the energy consumption in a normal home is used for heating and hot water. So one of the single most effective changes a householder can make is to install a thermostat but there's eight million homes that don't have a thermostat fitted. So this is where we're coming from with wireless controls. The wireless controls that we can see here, whether you're fitting a one zone system, so for a combi, a timer and thermostat, or whether you're looking to expand to more zones, for two zones for meeting the building regulations, then we've got Sundar RF squared here, which makes it really simple and easy, no mess, no fuss, um, an easy upgrade. And the idea behind it is for those homes out of thermostat, that have got a programmer fitted, simply replace the existing programmer or timer, install the thermostat or thermostats, and we'll do a cylinder thermostat for those hot water upgrades as well. Then you can do a simple system check. It's two-way wireless, so the time comes from the programmer. The minute that clock's got power, the thermostats automatically work. So we can do a quick system check, and then you're ready to actually show the homeowner what controls you've fitted. And that is really important. 
you need to explain to the homeowner what controls they've got because as controls become more complex, the number of calls that we receive increases as well. In fact, 40% of the traffic to our website last year was from homeowners looking for more information on heating controls. In fact, you don't download about 350,000 documents, so it's proof that the interest in controls is there. So we've got Sundial here, replace the programmer, and all the controls work out the box. It's really simple and easy to install, or we can take you through to something which you can come and see around the corner, which is like Evo. Evo or Evo Home is an eight zone controller, and we start to move towards programmable thermostats where we can combine time and temperature settings to give the ultimate in control. In fact, this will do up to eight zones. So you can send the information, perhaps to, if you come over here, we can see a wireless TRV. That will sense the temperature, send the demand to switch the boiler, and also, when there's no demand for heat, it will switch the boiler off. And that's what controls are there for. They're there to give your boiler interlock. They're there to turn the system off when there's no demand and for so heat. And so is that what helps you save the energy effectively? That's what's saving the energy. And all yeah. of our controls do uh, a type of control to allow the boiler to condense more frequently. So, as I said, fitting controls is a really important way of saving energy. And, and don't forget, there's 8 million homes that don't even have a thermostat fitted. Great. Thank you. Has anybody got any questions?